Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 9 of Patton's Best. So we have survived uh, for quite a while now, and we are continue to survive. We're playing it cautiously, of course, because I always play to win, no matter what. And uh, the, the last episode we uh, went to combat uh, during a heavy resistance scenario, but actually we did not have combat for a full day. We, you know, just uh, drove around the French countryside and, you know, uh, pushed the enemy back and captured uh, one exit area and a bunch of other areas. So today we're gonna see uh, how uh, how it works out. The next date on here on the combat calendar is gonna be, let's see here, uh, 8th of August. I actually thought the last time we played was the 8th of August. Uh, so I'm gonna edit my old after action report. That was actually the 7th of August. Uh, so now we go on the 8th of August. Combat will occur on a roll of 2 or higher. Sorry, 2 or lower, I mean. And there is no combat. The same goes for next. And we're all 6, so there is no combat. Next one is also 2 or lower, and we're all 8, so there is no combat. And next one is uh, an advanced light, uh, Nantes. I'm guessing that a village or an area on combat it will occur on a roll of 4 or lower. Roll 9, so there is actually no combat. Next is on a roll of 2 or lower. And roll 1, so now we finally have some combat. Uh, and let's see what date we have. We have the 12th of August. And I don't write it the American way. Uh, I write it the European way. 12-8, uh, 1944. And our situation is light advance. Right. Okay, so let's transfer our crew. Our tank name is still uh, Vegas. Tank model is M4A1. Our crew is Sergeant D. Miami with a 70 rating. And our Corporal Gunner Vince C with an 18 rating. And W. Pearson, our loader, also has an 8 in rating. Our driver, J. Iris Harkin, who has a 6 in rating. And finally, our assistant driver, William N., with a 7 in rating. Okay. And yeah, we have still have five, our commander, uh, five VP. We start off with 35 in fuel. Uh, right. Okay, so we go to our sequence of play, recorded uh, date and scenario code, recorded model of Sherman, tanks name, uh, tank crew names rating, consult the weather table and record the weather. So we look at our weather table, 1 to 6 to 9, it's clear. And we roll 87, so that is going to be uh, 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 overcast. All right. Overcast, as you know, is quite annoying because that means you have to roll every hour for rain. And rain will start on a roll of 9 or 10. At the beginning of every hour so what I do is I mark it with a little dot to remember to check for rain because otherwise I just forget in the heat of battle. There we go. Uh, consult ammo availability and extra ammo cards so this time I actually remember to do that before I roll to for time expenditure and all of that so we know uh, load as always 70 HE, 11 AP, 10 HEBI, and we look at ammo tables for extra ammo and we roll a 4, so that means that we have to bring 20 extra HE, 10 30 cal boxes. So you almost always are ordered to bring more ammo 
almost always. We load a red rack with 4 HE and 4 AP. Uh, determine amount of daylight available from this day. It's August, so no change. Determine time and ta uh, ammo already spent. Okay, uh, we roll 1d10. So that's split in half, uh, plus one, so two hours have passed. Not this day. And we also lose uh, four HD rounds and two 30 cal boxes. We still have eight extra vertical boxes and 60 extra main gun AG rounds. Determine your tank's deployment from the deployment table. And we're all 63, which I think means we're gonna be moving. Yes, sir, we are moving, but we are fortunately not the lead tank. And moving can be good if you're being targeted. Or harder target to hit as long as you're moving. Uh, mark uh, any open hatches and as usual we keep all the hatches open so we can spot those nasty tigers and 88s and get rid of them. Uh, mark the main gun gun load and we are loaded with HE. Uh, face the tank and turret in direction to side and that's it. Uh, Movement sequence, we determine start area, starting area is going to be 5, that's uh, pretty much uh, my favorite. Exit area, we roll 5 and it's going to be 2, where is 2, it's over here, okay. And I think that's it. Uh, determine exit area. Check one adjacent area for free. Okay, so we are gonna check the B area, I guess. It's gonna be the closest route. So yeah, I'll check the B area. And we roll a five, so that is gonna be light resistance. Okay, we'll call in. Uh, we'll call in. We have so much time today, so we'll call in two artillery strikes. Roll a two. Uh, roll six, we have two artillery strikes. And we have the whole damn day. I'll call in for another one. And we have a four. So we go ahead and move in. Uh, that's the wrong marker. <laughs> we go ahead and move in. And we spend two fuel. And we roll for, well, so we spend 45 minutes because there is no direct roads. And we roll for advancing fire, we roll 10. So that's five of each. So we go from 38 to 33. 30 cal boxes. And we go from 86 to 76. Uh, no, that's wrong. We go from 76 to 71. HE uh, main gun rounds. Roll to see if there is combat. Combat will occur on a roll of eight or higher. And roll six, so there is no combat. And we have successfully uh, earned our first victory point of the day. For capturing an area, we roll for. Uh, let's see here, which road is the best to take this one? So we roll for this A area. And we roll six, so that is going to be light resistance. And we go ahead and call in two artillery strikes on that area. First is a fail, and second is a win. So. Do, oh man, I forgot to... Uh, okay, first we check for rain for the first time and then now a second time. Okay, so we have rain. Rain starts at 0900. And if we have rain for uh, two hours or more, we will have fog. Okay, we'll call for artillery two times again. First is granted and second is granted. We move into the A area. We spend another four to five minutes. And we spend two fuel. So now we have to roll for the rain to see if the rain stops or if it uh, keeps going. Rain will stop and a roll of one to five. And roll four, so rain stops. It's totally annoying the, uh, the weather. 
Um, okay. Uh, did I forget something? Yes. Advanced fire. Roll two. So there's going to be one 30 cal box. And one HE round. So we are down to 32 30 cal boxes and 80 HE rounds. We still have 10 extra HE rounds. So that's when I get rid of those. Combat will occur on a roll of eight or higher, but we're in an A area, so it's gonna be seven or higher. And we're all free, so there's no combat. And we go ahead and mark another victory point. I've been working on the wrong after action report. That is our second captured area for today. We roll for resistance in this A area, and we roll an eight. That is gonna be, uh, let's see here, medium resistance. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and call in an airstrike and artillery. Start with the airstrike, it's not granted, and artillery is granted. I'll call another airstrike and artillery. And the airstrike is not granted, and the artillery is granted. I will roll to see if rain starts. We roll a 7, so no rain start. Rain starts in a roll of 9 or 10. And I will go ahead and call in another la one last airstrike and artillery. Airstrike is not granted. Artillery is granted. And my D10 is back in action. Okay, so let's see. We will drive over there and we spend 30 minutes doing so. So yet again we have to roll to see if rain starts. Nine, so rain starts again. At let's see what the time is at 12 o'clock. So if it still rains at let's see. I'm guessing the other box then if it still rains in the other box here, it's gonna be mud conditions. Alright, uh, we will roll for advancing fire. We're all six, so that's three. So we're down to 29 30 cal boxes now. But we still have seven uh, extra HE rounds. I want to get rid of those. Okay, medium, uh, medium resistance combat will occur on a roll of uh, six or higher, but we're in A area, so it's going to occur on a five or higher. And we're all a four on that. That's lucky. So we capture yet another area. And we mark off another victory point. And we get to check for uh, resistance in the A area. We're all seven. So that is going to be, again, medium resistance. Because uh, the A modifier. So we are going to go ahead and call in some stuff. We'll call in an airstrike and artillery strike. Start with the airstrike. Roll five, no. And artillery strike, we do get the artillery strike. And again, airstrike, artillery strike. Start with the airstrike. Yes, we get the airstrike and we also get the artillery strike. And then we roll to see if rain stops. Yes, rain stops on a roll of 1 to 5. 6 to 10, it keeps raining. And we call in one airstrike. Nope. Artillery strike. Yes. Alright, so we go ahead and move into this new area. We spend another two fuel. So we're down at 29 fuel. Uh, 30 minutes of time to drive over there. And let's see, we will roll for advancing fire. Four, so that's two. So we're down to 27 uh, 30 cal boxes now. And we still have five extra HE rounds. So we roll for combat. Combat will occur on a roll of five or higher. And we roll three, that's incredible. Um, it's a medium area, right? So combat will occur normally on six or higher, but the A is a plus one, so wow. Okay, so we capture an exit area now, and that means we get rid of all of these markers. Boom, captured. And we clear the board. 
And roll again for a new starting area, it's 7. And the exit area, we roll 9. Starting area 7, if we roll 9, its exit area is 9. Okay, so the exit area is over here. Can we make it in time? We have four, five hours, maybe, perhaps. Let's roll for D. Resistance, one, that's light resistance. Okay, so we are gonna move into D without any backup. Uh, that's gonna take four to five minutes of time. So that means we have to roll now for rain, no rain. We spend two fuel. It's 27 left. We roll for advanced fire. We roll that one. And we roll 10, so that's five of each. We got rid of the last extra ammo now on our HE gun. Uh, HE ammo, and we have 22 30 cal boxes left. Let's roll for combat. Combat will occur on a roll of eight or, or higher. Let's see. My apologies. And we roll five, so there is no combat. Uh, let's see, we will roll for this A area, for any resistance, and that's gonna be medium resistance, so we're not gonna go there. Uh, we will mark off another captured area, and we spend 50 minutes of time looking into resistance here, but first we roll to see if rain starts. Nope, no rain, and then we roll for resistance level. And roll a 10, so we are going to have medium resistance in that area as well. Uh, not very tempted to go into an A area with, uh, with resistance, because there is surely going to be a battle. I will call in for... F uh, okay, one airstrike and three artillery strikes. We'll start with the airstrike. It is a mine, so it's failed. And then three artillery strikes failed. Granted and granted. So we have two artillery strikes. Uh, I'll do okay. I'll do one more airstrike and artillery strike. Airstrike is granted and artillery strike also. All right, we move in. That's forty-five minutes of time, and we spend two fuels. We're down to twenty-five. We roll for advance and fire, that's one, so nothing spent. And then we roll for combat. Combat will occur on a roll in medium, uh, on a roll of six or higher, but we have a plus one because it's an A area, so it will occur on a roll of five or higher. And we roll a six, so there is our first combat now of the day. All right, right, we are gonna go ahead and place out our advanced fire markers. We go and let's put our airstrikes and stuff here to remember that we're gonna use those as well. We have three artillery strikes and one airstrike, that's rather impressive. All right, uh, we will activate enemy units and we're gonna activate three units. First one is 15, which is light weapons, second is 19, which is a truck. And third is 90, which is gonna be another truck. Okay, I think they're not gonna survive the... <laughs> they're not gonna survive the artillery strikes. Uh, all right, let's roll first for placement. This one is going in this area. And the truck is going in that area. Uh, the truck is going into this area as well. Or actually, it's gonna be... Yes, it's gonna be that area. Let's roll for distance for the light weapons. And they are gonna be at nine, which means medium range. And for the trucks, first one is at eight, which is long range. Second one is at one, which is close range. Facing of the first truck. Uh, let's see, facing, that's gonna be the side. Second truck facing. Roll a three, and that is gonna be let's see here. Front uh, terrain for the light weapons nine, which I believe is the open right. We are in an A area, yes, open. Uh, terrain for the truck also 
open and then for the second truck also open We're actually moving in the open this one so we'll put the moving marker on it okay they're most likely gonna be annihilated now uh, we start off by the advancing fire for the truck we'll look at our friendly action table and for a truck we will take him out on a roll of 1 to 60 uh, minus 9 because of the free US controlled sectors, that's 1 to 69, plus 10 because of advancing fire versus vehicle. So, in the end, it's 1 to 59 to kill the truck with advancing fire, and we're all 61, so very close to taking him, but no. Next truck, the same number, 11. So, we get this truck with advanced fire, and remember, advanced fire, unfortunately, you do not get VP because it's counted as. Uh, enemy actually retreating okay so we roll now uh, our first artillery strike we're all against the first truck and 1 to 60 to kill but plus 10 because of artillery fire versus vehicles ah except trucks actually okay so that's cool so 1 to 60 to kill the truck and we roll 18 so we have killed the truck perfect we go ahead and note uh, VP for knocking out a truck and then we're all on the artillery strike here on the light weapons and we need a 1 to 30 to kill him let's see and he's not in the woods so 1 to 30 and we're all 86 so the first artillery strike has failed second artillery strike 1 to 30 to kill and we're all 40 so second artillery strike fails third and last artillery strike Emerald 13, so that is successful and we take him out. That means we mark another VP here or knocked out uh, knocked out light weapons. One VP. Okay, we roll now to see if there's an am enemy ambush. Enemy ambush on a roll of 1 to 8. And roll a 2, so there is going to be an enemy ambush. So the first thing that's going to happen now is random event. And roll 59, which is going to be friendly advance. So that's cool. We'll take uh, we'll take this area, and then uh, we have crew action. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close our hatches and put out our loader and commander spot markers. Actually, they're going to be here on the sides because the turret uh, gunner, you know, and the loader can spot here and the driver. Uh, even if they're buttoned up, uh, alright, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna do some actions, we're gonna fire the co uh, coaxial and the bow MG, you know the deal. The gunner fires the coaxial, and the uh, assistant driver fires the bow MG. We put the bow MG markers out uh, in the front here, and we roll for ammo expenditure and gun malfunction on the bow MG. It's a gun malfunction on a roll of 98 or higher and ammo spent on a roll of 30 or lower. But nothing of that happens, we're good. And then we go to the next random event, we roll 2d10. And roll 4, which is unfortunately for us time passes. So we're running out of time now. Uh, if we want to get to that area we need uh, at least... Uh, we need at least 30 minutes plus 45. Yeah, we don't have enough time to get there actually, so that's sad, but well, it is what it is. And also I should mark 50 minutes off for, for a battle, which I forgot at the beginning. You should always mark 50 minutes off for the battle. Uh, well, that's it. That's the end of combat. So we capture another area. Use control. So we note our fifth VP for today for capturing areas. We go ahead and determine your tank's deployment, so we roll on the deployment table. And we roll 7, so that is going to be hold down. 1 to 20 is always hold down. So we are hold down currently, and my damn markers here are not my friend today. We are hold down and we reset our battle board. Um, see here, we will open all our hatches. 
and remove our orders. And let's see, remove our advancing fire markers as well. And we get to check one adjacent area. We are going to check the B area for resistance. We roll 10, so that is going to be medium resistance. So we go ahead and check. Um, okay, we already checked that area. All right, so we have how much time do we have left? We have, we got a roll for rain now. Rain, nope. Oh, rain starts on a roll of nine to 10. We have one hour and 50 minutes left. Uh, I'm not really feeling like I want to go in there. It's a 30 minute drive. Okay, we have 40 minutes for fun stuff. So 45 minutes I call in for three artillery strikes. First is granted, second is granted, and third is also granted. That's a little bit of a shame, really close to getting to that exit area. Okay, we move in. We spend the last 30 minutes of the day to move in. We spend two fuel, so we go down to 23 fuel. Uh, we roll for advanced fire. And roll two, so that's going to be one HE round. So that's our first actually round we take that's not extra. And we're down to 21 30 cal boxes. I believe I spent fuel, but uh, if I didn't, I can do it again. I have still 21 fuel. I never run out of fuel, so it's uh, actually quite a. Um, I mean, it was fun in the beginning, but now I'm like, oh, maybe I should stop counting fuel because, you know. Huh. Okay, we're in a B area. Uh, combat is going to occur on a roll of six or higher. And roll nines, we definitely have combat. Okay. So normally we would mark off 50 more minutes, but we have no more time this day. Uh, medium, so that is going to be three enemy units. Uh, let's see, 17. And before we do that, we're going to mark off our advanced fire. Remove our spotting markers since we have our hatches open. Let's see, 17 is our first, and that is going to be a truck. So we have two more enemies to spawn, and we have 22, which is going to be an AT gun. And then finally, we have 46, which is going to be another truck. So we are quite lucky with the enemy spawns, we are mainly getting these trucks <laughs> coming at us. So the first one is going to spawn over in this area. Second one is spawning in this area. And the third is spawning in 10, so that should be also in this area. So let's start with 80 gun to roll on distance. We roll 5 with the 80 gun. Uh, that's going to be medium range. And distance for the first truck. Uh, roll six, so that's going to be medium range as well. Second truck is going to be long range. And then we roll for um, we roll for facing of the vehicles. The first truck is going to face the front. And the second truck is also facing the front. Terrain for the 88, we roll one. And that is going to be woods. And terrain for the first truck that is going to be let's see here vehicle targets 10 moving in the open and second truck we roll a five which means woods all right so we have uh, uh, sorry advanced fire against the first truck we consult our friendly action table and we need uh, 1 to 60 to take him out uh, and we don't mind uh, advanced fire because that accepts trucks and then we have three US controlled sector minus three for each so 1 to 69 to take out that truck. I rolled 60 so the truck retreats we don't get VP but we get rid of the truck which all is always cool. All right, and then we have artillery strikes and air strikes. We have no no air strikes, but we have three artillery strikes. So the first uh, artillery strike against the truck. 
1 to 60 to take him out. And roll 14, so he's definitely taken out. That is one VP for us. Thank you very much. And then we have the 80 gun. Uh, we kill the 80 gun on a roll of 1 to 20. And it's an 80 gun in the woods, so that's a minus 3 modifier. So 1 to 23 to kill the 80 gun. And roll 79, so that's not a kill. If we roll 80 or higher, uh, we get smoke on him. Second artillery strike is 79 again, so definitely not a kill. Last chance, 87, so uh, at least we get some smoke on him. There we go. And yeah, he remains in the woods. Okay, so unfortunately we don't get him with artillery support. So now we're gonna go ahead and roll to see if there is an ambush. Ambush occurs on a roll of 1 to 7. And we roll 7, so there is an ambush. So we roll for enemy action, advanced scenario. We have an AT gun, which has a plus 20 during an ambush. Roll 2 to 10. We roll 83, which turns it to 103, so basically it fires at the lead tank. So 88 LL. Uh, at medium range needs 66 or lower to kill but uh, for each smoke marker you um, are halved so 66 turns into 33 so 33 or lower to kill uh, a friendly tank 85 so he misses thank you okay we're all now on random events table and roll two which is time passes but that cannot happen because the day has already ended and then we go to our turn. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're definitely gonna try to spot him. So he has fired, so we have that very good modifier. So let's look at our modifiers here. Uh, it's, uh, let's see here. Targeting woods, so that's a plus one. Uh, per smoke marker, plus one, so that's a plus two. Targeted medium range, minus one, so we have a plus one now. Uh, target fired weapons last turn, minus two, so we have a total of uh, minus one. So a minus one uh, to our roll, if I understand this correctly. Oh, let's see here. Minus two, it should... No, it's a minus one, because targeting woods plus one... Um... One per smoke marker, that's a plus two. Uh, targeted medium rain minus one, so now it's a plus one, and then minus two target fired weapon last uh, turn. So it's a minus uh, minus one to our roll. Okay, so we'll start by trying to spot the AT gun with our highest crew member, which is Vince C, the gunner. So he attempts to spot the 88 and roll a 10, unfortunately, very annoying because that makes uh, the gun hidden. So, uh, what should we do? Should we close our hatches, perhaps? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, I'll, I'm closing my hatches. There's no reason to uh, have them up since I can't spot anyway. And I put out my spotting markers here. Commander spots this way, the loader spots that way. And uh, should we pop some smoke, perhaps? Should we fire? We gotta have the hatches open to pop smoke. We fire uh, we fire our normal machine guns, the bow MG uh, and the coaxial. Our driver is you know just staying still. Our loader could fire the submachine gun and the commander could fire the 50 cal. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Okay, I'll open my hatches again, the commander and the loader. And the loader fires the 50 cal, sorry, the submachine gun, and my commander fires the 50 cal. Okay, so we go straight to, um, to actions of our machine guns. So we have a bunch of <laughs> advanced fire to put out. Uh, and we'll put the coaxial and the bow has to go in front of the turret and um, and uh, what do you call it the, the gun the, uh, the hull I mean and the submachine gun we fire to the left and the 50 cal we fire to the right so we just roll 
for ammo expenditure, uh, 1 to 30, you spend 1 box of ammo, 98 or higher, gun malfunction. Roll for the coaxial first, roll for the bow MG, and roll for the 50 cal, nothing. You don't roll for the submachine gun because that cannot malfunction and don't spend any ammo. Alright, so that is the end of our... We don't do anything more. Enemy action phase again, so we roll for our uh, 88. And let's see what he does. We roll 18, which is move back. So he loses his hidden marker, which had also expended the uh, smoke the first turn. He moves back, so we roll for his new uh, terrain, and we roll a 5. Let's see, we are in a B area, so 5 is woods. So it's moving in the woods. And then we go ahead and roll on our friendly action table. And it's an AT gun, so 1 to 20 to kill it. There's no smoke marker any longer, and minus 9 because of these 3. Uh, so that's gonna be 1 to 29 to take him out. And we roll 60, so we do not take him out. We roll on the random event table. We roll 65, which is unfortunately for us enemy reinforcements. So we go to the activation table, 71, which is a Panzer Spewagen Spewagen. We roll to see what it is on the parents table. We roll a 9, so that is a Panzer Spewagen. That's the first time we face one of those. It's gonna spawn over, let's see, here in the middle, and range is gonna be, let's see here, close range. Close range and uh, facing. We roll that. Facing is gonna be front, I believe, yes sir. Where's the front on this bad boy? It's like that. And terrain, finally. I believe that's gonna be hold down, yes sir. Scary stuff. Okay, uh, my you know advanced fire there will not affect him since he's not an infantry target, uh, so I cannot kill him with those machine guns. Uh, that's the end of the random event. We go back, smoke depletion phase. That's smoke here uh, is done for spotting phase. All right, we will attempt to spot my uh, gunner. Let's see here. My gunner is going to go ahead and spot, he can turret front only, okay, so he's going to try to spot the 88 uh, first. And let's look at our modifiers. Uh, plus one because targeting woods. Uh, target a long range, isn't that going to give me a modifier? Uh, plus three, crew member buttoned up. Ah, I say, okay, so I'll, I'll spot instead with... Uh, the loader, and the loader will spot on, he has a rating of 8, so he spot on 8 or less. But uh, let's see here, we should have some modifiers. Minus 3, target is moving. Uh, I don't believe we have any other, we have plus 1 because he is in the woods. So target is moving, is minus three, it turns into minus two now to our roll. And roll a one, so he's automatically spotted and identified. So let's see what kind of gun this is. We roll on the enemy gun appearance table. And we roll a 10 again, so it's again it's an 80 gun every time. That's not nice. Okay, the gunner tries to spot the Spewagen and roll an eight, which turns into, well, let's see here, it's... Uh, Minus three because minus two because uh, target at close range. So yeah, it's uh, gonna be spotted and it's already identified. Okay, what are we gonna do here, boys? Can I get the punch spear wagon with my he? Uh, let's see here. Not uh, it's the twenty eight or or lower. I will kill him on the front, so that's not very good odds. So I am going to go ahead and reload, um, so let's see here. 
Yeah, also take note that when you're spotting, you have to look at the icon. So the icon for the action was fire submachine gun, and that has the spotting icon on it. If it doesn't have the spotting icon on it, you cannot spot in the next turn while, while you have performed that action. We remove our order markers. All right, uh, spot the face or the hatch segment. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open all my hatches now. I should I do that? I have spotted them. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll actually keep them closed because I have spotted them all. Uh, and he's at close range, so it's a big chance that he's gonna fire at me. So I'll put my spotting markers like that. Actually, I should maybe, yeah, I'll put them on the sides. Let's see what I do. I'll fire the bow MG with the uh, assistant driver. I'll fire the coaxial with the gunner. And I change gun load with my loader to AP. Let's see here, ammo reload is gonna be AP. And there you have it. So let's change the gun load first of all to AP. And then we roll for the coaxial and bow MG. Whoops. And they are fired in the front. No ammo on the first, no ammo or gun malfunction on the second. Okay. And that's it. We go now to enemy action. So roll first for the uh, Spewagen. Let's see where we have him. He rolls 51. 51 is moved to the right. So we put a moving marker on him. And he becomes unspotted, unfortunately. But he is no longer hold down. And then we roll on the AT gun. I roll 53 on the AT gun. That's fire at any tank. And he's firing on long range, 88 LL. He needs a 61 or lower to kill. Mm. He rolls 40, so unfortunately that is our first casualty of the day. One tank goes down. Ah, not, not good at all. Okay, let's look at friendly action table. We'll uh, try to target the 88 first. On a 1 to 29, we will kill it. And we're all 16, so the 88 is history. I was getting a little bit nervous about that 88 there. Um, that is one knocked out AT gun. And we go now to the Panzerspeewagen which we need a uh, 1 to 40 to kill, but we have some modifiers here. First we have the minus 9 of course, so 1 to 49 to kill. But then we have plus 2 versus vehicle targets for each friendly tank lost. So the 1 to 39 to kill turns into a uh, 1 to 47. And we roll 60, so he's not, uh, he's not killed. Uh, we roll on random events table, and uh, we roll 54. 54 is friendly advance, so we go ahead and mark one area captured. And that's the end of it. We uh, got the smoke depletion phase, spotting phase. Okay, the commander will is the only one who can spot this direction now because we are all buttoned up and I pre-spotted here. So I will be able to spot him. My rating is 7, but we have a few bad modifiers here. Crew member buttoned up, plus 3. Uh, let's see here, target in, did I roll for um, terrain? I think I did, I think it said moving in the open if I'm correct. Small target, uh, target close range minus two, target is moving minus three, stress minus five, target spotted in previous round minus three, so we totally have a minus eight. And a plus three, so that's a plus five to our roll. And we roll an eight, 
So that turns into a three. So definitely this guy is spotted again. All right, we are gonna go ahead and do some stuff now. Let's bring this back here. We will, should we open our hatches or not? Uh, it's a little bit tricky. <sighs> okay. We open our hatches and try to take this guy out while we have the chance. So our loader will simply load. We will load from ready rack and we will load AP, which is our current gun load. Our commander is going to go ahead and direct fire. And our gunner is going to rotate turret and fire main gun. And our assistant driver is firing the bow MG. He's firing the bow MG into this area. So let's roll just before on that. No gun malfunction, no ammo spent. All right, so we are turning our turret over here and firing at the Panzer Spewagen. I don't think we're gonna be hit, uh, hitting it because it's moving, so that's gonna be a hard target to hit. Uh, let's see here. To hit target 75 at close range, that is 55 or lower to hit. Uh, target moving, no effect. Okay, cool. Uh, it's a vehicle target, so we have an effect. So to hit it, we need a 75 or lower to hit. Plus 20 if target is moving. So now we need a 55 or lower to hit. Gun rating or combined gun rating of the loader, gunner and commander is 16 plus 7. Uh, let's see. That's, I think that's 23, right? Uh, 50, yes, 23. Okay, 23 in gun rating. So 75 to hit, minus 20, that's 55. Plus 23, uh, sorry, 55, plus 23, 75, 78. Uh, rotate turret fire, plus 10 per, sex, per sector. So our 78 turns into a 68. Mm, 68. Okay, 68 or lower to hit. And we roll 12, that's perfect. That also means that we get a rate of fire. So we have gotten a, a HE hit and we have acquired the enemy by one. And that means we get to fire again. So let's bring out our action. After action report here, uh, we'll mark off totally two AP rounds now. So we have nine remaining. And we will fire again. And I have already forgot what I needed to roll. Uh, 75 minus 20, that's 55. 45 minus the plus 10 per sector, 45. Plus 23, that's 63. Uh, acquired target minus 5, 68. So 68 or lower to hit. And roll 71. So unfortunately, the second shot we take is a miss. And we don't get rate of fire either. But we get one, uh, sorry, that should be AP, one AP hit. So let's look at AP to kill. AP to kill, uh, punch again at close range. We need a 95 or lower. <laughs> I think we can do that. 74. Yes, that, uh, that guy is definitely gone. And that feels good because that is our first, I think, uh, armor kill for, with our own crew. So that's, I mean, it's only two VP, but it's still pretty cool to get uh, our first armor target. So far, we only killed uh, 80 guns. I don't think we actually killed 80 guns, but MG, you know, machine guns and trucks and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get rid of this moving marker and the spotted marker. This shouldn't be here. And uh, bow MG can be remaining. Acquire target. But here, so many markers, so many counters in this game. Uh, yep, that should be it. Okay, let's roll now for random event. And let's hope we don't get enemy reinforcements. We roll 50. 
50 is friendly advance, so it doesn't really matter, but if we would like to, we could capture yet another area that is adjacent, we could capture like that, and enemy forces would not be able to spawn there. Okay, and that is the end of, the, of combat. Very nice. We go ahead and clean our board here. And mark it like that. So now we should roll for, you know, deployment table, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter because time is spent, the day is ended. Okay, let's uh, evaluate our mission here. Uh, we have scored 1 VP for knocking out light weapons, 2 VP for scoring, uh, um, killing um, trucks, 2 VP for c killing a Punch SP wagon, and that was us. So we are now uh, up to 7 VP. 1 VP, sorry, 4 VP for knocking out an AT gun. 5, which turns into a 10, and actually should be 6, which turns into a 12 now. We've captured one more area. And then 10 VP, which turns into 20 for capturing an exit area. And unfortunately, minus one for losing one friendly tank. So let's look at our uh, final score here. 32 for uh, territory, two VP for our uh, tank and friendly forces, one, three, seven. So 32. 34, totally we get 36 VP. We would have gotten, of course, um, uh, 41, but we have minus five because of one uh, tank lost. So all in all, I think that was a good day. Uh, we're gonna go ahead now and roll for crew advancement. Uh, the commander needs an eight or higher, five. Uh, Vince, the gunner, needs an nine or higher. Uh, our Loader, W. Pearson, needs a 9 or higher. Ah, come on, guys. Uh, J. Irish Harkin needs a 7 or higher. 10. Very nice. And then our assistant driver, uh, William N., needs an 8 or higher. 7, unfortunately. But we did get one crew advancement, so I am very happy with that. Okay, guys, we're getting closer to that first refit. I'm really looking forward to it because I'm really looking forward to updating this old rust bucket into a jumbo Sherman tank and, you know, so we can start kicking some ass. And, uh, well, it's going to be um, a little bit less, uh, less tense with our first jumbo tank because it's not going to be a 76 millimeter. It's going to be a 75. But then in October, we can finally get the 76 uh, millimeter gun. Uh, jumbo assault tank and then we're certainly gonna try our best to kick some German ass Okay guys as always. Thank you so much for watching You really help me out when you comment on the video like the video and of course when you subscribe to the channel So if you're enjoying this video, I hope that you can do me uh, that favor of doing that uh, Well, just stay tuned. Uh, this was I believe our ninth episode of Patton's best so It's been going for a while so stick tuned because uh, the tenth episode is probably gonna be soon Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.